Welcome to One Minute What The Hell. So here we are playing the Sonic the Hedgehog game on the Sega Master System. Quite interesting. Uh, this game came out on the Genesis, and uh, Sega decided to uh, port the game to its 8-bit counterpart, the Sega Master System. Uh, let's see how this plays out. See right there, the, act, the graphics actually look pretty damn good. The uh, Sega Master System can actually fool you into thinking that it's almost, si almost 16 bits. Not quite, but... And, uh, the graphics look very, very nice. Spin dash looks nice. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, not quite as beautiful as the Genesis version, but it looks like it's intact. I guess if you had a Sega Master System and you did not have the money to buy a Genesis right away, uh, and this game was available, this is definitely a really, really good alternative. Whoa, did I just walk on spikes here? What the hell is this? Well, I guess spikes do kill you, but... For a second, I was actually walking on spikes. What the hell? Dude, there is some uh, sprites missing from the Sega Master System version. That little floating uh, platform. And they have the little ball things attached to it. it. Plays exactly the same, but just a little dumbed down. And you have the same concept. You just have to get from one side to the stage to the other side. Because, of course, it's... Uh, the limitation of the uh, Sega Master System probably couldn't handle... Whoa, I don't remember this. What the hell is this shit? Wait a minute, where the hell am I? Oh, here we are. Okay, I do not remember this in the uh, Genesis version for some reason, I'm not sure why, but... You're better off going down this way. And this is a very, very unique stage. It's actually not fast-paced at all. You have to take your time. See, this level kind of throws you off a little bit because... Yeah, you can actually fall through the platform down here, I believe. Nope, you can't. You jump through it, but you can't fall through it. And that's the end of the level. That was a really, really strange level. Definitely do not recognize that in the Genesis version. What the hell is this? Looks like we have a bonus level right here. This is a very, very unique bonus level. Now, the Genesis has their own type of bonus level, but this one... It's definitely really different. I want to for sure that the uh, Sega Master System D-pad was... very, very different from the uh, Genesis D-pad. It was kind of square looking. Not quite as comfortable. It wasn't the most comfortable D-pad in the world, so it might have been a little bit more tougher to play than the Master System uh, gamepad. And as you can see, here we have a boss. Look at this. The boss level appears to be much easier than the Genesis version. The only thing you have to do is just wait for the lower down a little bit. Continue hitting him like this. See there, I just defeated the boss. And somewhere down here, there should be a little thing that you jump on with a bunch of rabbits. And that's pretty much similar to the. But from what I see, the uh, stage here looks kind of different too. Yeah, Sega Master System version does have its own type of levels, it appears. A little bit different from, from the uh, Genesis version. I got a game over right there, but overall the uh, Master System version is actually different. It has some similarities, it has some levels that are kind of like the same, but then it has levels that are completely different. Uh, so if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, I mean, if you want to play a completely different game, then I'll definitely check this out because it's completely different from what you would expect it to be. And it's an 8 bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog that's actually pretty decent. It's not that bad at all. It's playable. And, uh, actually, it's actually, some, in some cases, I actually like it better than the Genesis version. 
on some levels, so it'll be easier to play. But of course, the Genesis version is the best. 